So what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Jeff Man 316 Pop Culture Reporter Channel. I'm your host, as always, Jeff Man 316. And if you follow my channel and you watch my shorts that I post, you'll know that I just watched Guardians of the Galaxy 3 in theaters, and I'm going to give you my opinion. So yeah, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but yeah, I got a little uh, teary-eyed. Yeah, I got teary-eyed at watching a CGI genetically enhanced raccoon. So want to know more about it? Let's get into the video. Let's go. Are you ready for one last ride? Yeah, I just saw Guardians of the Galaxy 3, like I said, and I wanted to give you my opinion. Um, this is obviously, I'm not going to go into the cast. It's got the, the, all the regulars return, and uh, this is probably going to be the last film, obviously, directed by James Gunn in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He's heading off to, you know, what he, I guess he thinks is greener pastures because he's heading up the whole thing over in D.C., so looking forward to what he does there. And I'm also looking forward to Flash, but not talking about that. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 rounds out the trilogy, and I'll just go ahead and tell you, two very enthusiastic thumbs up to me. There's a, a few things that I didn't like about the movie, which keep it from getting my, you know, super on fire rating, and I'll get into those at the end, but um, this is definitely the Rocket Raccoon, and I'm saying that strategically for a reason. You need to watch the movie. This is the Rocket Raccoon entry in the trilogy. The first one, obviously, was the origin of the team and getting everybody together. The last one, because of what went on with Peter and Gamora, um, that's obviously the Peter Quill uh, entry in the series. You get to see everything about his backstory. And from what you know, what I was feeling and going into this was that obviously this was going to be real heavy with this backstory of Rocket Raccoon, and they did not disappoint. If you want to think about it, uh, between Peter and Rocket, those are two of the mainstays of the group. They keep everybody going. They usually are the quote-unquote leaders. And in this, this I will say in this story arc, uh, Rocket Raccoon, he becomes the leader that we all knew he could be. And, uh, you know, deep down, he ob obviously acted like a leader in the previous movies. But in this one, he actually gets that mantle. And so I'm not going to go into spoilers in this. But let me, let me tell you my feelings. But I like the story arc here. Um, if you've watched the holiday special, you'll know where all the characters are. But if you haven't, you know, Peter is still very emotional because he lost his version of Gamora. Um, all the other characters have tried to move on and support him. But you obviously have some, I don't like I said, I don't want to spoil it. If you've seen the trailer, there's going to be somebody from Rocket's past that returns that tries to uproot him from the group and actually affects him in the... Um, the, the entire Guardians group as a, and on a very emotional level. Um, they do the story and flashbacks. I typically don't like the flashback as, aspect of movies, but in this case I do. Really emotional. You get to see you know how Rocket came to be. One of the things I will say is if uh, cruelty to animals bothers you, even though it's CGI, it's very realistic and it's very emotional in several scenes. I will say you may want to skip this, or you need to know that going into it. Um, I already kind of knew that it would go in that direction, uh, and it didn't bother me as much. But like I said in the intro, I wasn't kidding, man. There were several times in this movie. It's a really good emotional roller coaster of a movie where um, you got emotional. And I, like I said, I'm not necessarily going to say I cried, but I did get kind of uh, misty, as they say. Stop it, I'm getting misty. I also love the fact that Drax and uh, Nebula and mantis actually you see them grow more as characters and possibly able to do more in future uh, whether it be guardians installments which i don't think so i think gun has pretty much shot that down but maybe a different iteration or see them pop up in other ways in the mcu later down the road he left out some important information but that is the gist of it um i will say this as far as the negatives I didn't really like the, the character of Adam Warlock. I thought he was a bit of a waste here. Um, it wasn't needed. But one of the reasons that they used him, I thought, is because the villain in this 
is uh, is very weak. He's got power, but he's not as powerful as he thinks he is. Um, he thinks he's God level, but he's really not. So if you have to use another being like an Adam Warlock to try to uh, get what you want, obtain what the Guardians have, that just shows you to me, like I said, that the, that the villain in this is very a little bit weak. It's almost like he is a... He wants to be Thanos, but he's more like a junior Thanos. Uh, he doesn't have quite what it takes. Another thing that I'll say about this movie as far as the negative goes is they're just like Paramount as far as the Scream franchise. They take you to the edge with a lot of different characters in this movie where you, they are, get to be very vulnerable. You think that they may have a chance to um, perish, to die. And um, they, they're afraid to go over that, that, that mark is what it seems to me. I'm not going to spoil whether anybody dies in here or not, um, but what I will say is there is a lot of opportunities in this movie for things to happen for certain characters. There's a lot of experiences they go through that there is no fucking way that they should have um, lived through or um, it should have affected or impacted them in a much more negative way, let's say. So I thought if they had been a, brought a bit more realism into it, because it's very emotional. So if you're going to go to that level, bring a little more level of realism into it. Make it hurt. You know, that was one of the things I really liked about the Thanos storyline is uh, you didn't know who was safe and you didn't know what was going to happen. And it really hurt. It was really impactful at the end. So either way, it is very good, though. I'm, like I said at the beginning, two very enthusiastic thumbs up. Um, it's probably my second favorite Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Since there's only three, I'm not going to do a ranking video. I love the first one. The second one it didn't meet my expectations. It, try, it was a little cheesy. Um, I was really thinking Kurt Russell would be great in that, um, but it turned out to be kind of cheesy. The third one to me is the second best one. And I know a lot of people said it didn't have as much humor in it, but I think it did. I think it was just spread out more, but it was also very emotional. So like I said, you get that roller coaster of emotional uh, highs and then some comedy and then it just keeps going all that way all the way to the end um, it's got two after credit sequences very anticlimactic I didn't think that they were um, as good as some of the other ones and it didn't really 100% set up anything that I really care about that's one of the things I'll say I really do think I've got Marvel fatigue like I said in the uh, short I did um, Marvel has taken us this whole way and kind of now it's like taking a breath and they really haven't done anything in the last couple of years that I like. So at least they're finally back on the map with something that I support. So have you seen Guardians of the Galaxy 3? Did you like it? What did you think compared to the other ones? Put the comments down below. Um, let's chatter about it. And then after you do all that, make sure you're a subscriber. And if you are a subscriber, hit the notification bell. You'll know when I post new videos. So I think my next review is going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in get my opinion of Evil Dead Rise. And uh, other than that, like I said, let me know if there's anything you'd like me to review on the channel because I'd like to do that a little bit more. So until next time, boys and girls, this has been Jeff Man 316 your pop culture reporter, signing out saying you guys be safe out there.